today's video, we're going to be breaking down the top five defensive teams in Madden NFL 16. We're going to try to do it a little faster than the offensive video, just kind of give you the top five teams and get out of here, uh, because I know that you guys want to get on the field and play. Uh, number five, Oakland Raiders. Here's why. Speed four days. First of all, Khalil Mack is a stud. Can we just take a second and marvel at this man? 92 acceleration, uh, 87 speed, 82 strength. I mean, the dude gets stuff done. Justin Tuck, again, another good acceleration guy. Um, he's solid. Uh, defensive tackle, you have Dan Williams, who is a beefy, massive monster. Uh, you also have this guy, sleeper Mario Edwards Jr. What you're going to notice about him is that he is pretty solid at block shedding. Uh, he's a guy kind of like Leonard Williams from the Jets. 78 speed, 88 strength. Madden Jim, in my opinion. Put him in your 3-4 defense. This dude will get the job done. Uh, and then also uh, uh, their linebackers real quick. Alden Smith comes to the table. Malcolm Smith, 88 speed. Hello. Uh, Khalil Mack, 87 speeds. Armstrong, you got all those guys. All these speed guys. They've got speed for days on the defensive side. Uh, Curtis Lofton, good enough. I mean, the user player, though, for this team, no other than Ben Heaney. Uh, 86 speed, 71 strength, which you're also going to see on this guy. Uh, he's got 68 catch. Get the job done there. Hit power, eh, but we're not really going to lay hit sticks with our user player. Uh, Lorenzo Alexander as well for 3-4 teams. Uh, you can use him, but I like to go uh, Heaney, Lofton, Smith, and Malcolm Smith. Corners, uh, they're, pretty, they're good enough. Um, in my opinion, corners aren't really that important this year. Uh, just having guys with decent zone coverage. And you see they have good man, good zone, 80s, 80s, 80 from Keith McGill. Uh, and then they have Chuck Woodson. The cool part about this is they just have so many men gyms. Taylor Mays made it to the uh, made it to the Raiders this year. 6'3", 88 speed, a guy that we've used for years uh, in Madden with that 86 hit power coming over from the Bengals. Um, another thing you have with this team is the ability to use Chuck Woodson, uh, Charles Woodson here. Uh, you're going to see his stats off the chart. Uh, zone coverage, 83, solid. Hit power, not very good, but has that zone coverage and that catch rating. You see catching from Nate Allen, catching from Charles Woodson. Those guys are uh, really the reason why we take them. Number five, uh, defensively. Number four, uh, defensively this season is the Buffalo Bills. And I debated putting them number three, number four. I couldn't really decide. Uh, and I go Buffalo. Here's why. Um... They have the best, not the best, one of the best defensive lines in the game. They have speed uh, with Jerry Hughes. Um, terrible strength, though, so you just only want to use him in certain situations. What I like to do uh, is take Darius and Williams, and then you have all these guys, Corbin Bryant, Mario Williams, Jeremy Hughes, those guys. So a really good defensive line uh, you see there. Good defensive line. Uh, their linebackers, Bradham, uh, Paul Brown, and then there's a sleeper, if I remember correct. Uh, let me see the hit power. They have hit power. They have really good hit power. Um, Stewart. Tony Stewart and Nigel Bradham, 90-90, and then Preston Brown. So that's your guys. So I like to put Stewart uh, in here at the ROLB. So Stewart there, and he'll be my user player. Paul, Preston Brown and Bradham will get the job done. Their corners, while not you know, top of the line, they will also get the job done. Uh, zone 90-90, solid for Gilmore. 85-83, solid. And then I like to put Watkins in the slot because I play more more zone. If you play more manly, Roby there. Um, so there's that. And then their safeties really can cover well as well. Corey Graham, they all just cover well. None of them have great hit power. You're going to see that. The only guy that you're going to want to use here is Bakari Rambo with that 89 hit power. He also has 90 speed. But what you're going to see is that they all have good zone coverage. Um, even Rambo has 79 zone coverage. So uh, you have Williams at 80, Corey Graham at 80, Duke at 80. All these guys can cover in zone, and that is a big plus, 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 plus uh, for this team. So that's why they come in on our list at number four. Number three, Cleveland. Uh, and I debated. I, I really want to put them up there. The, the, the one, two, three could all be in our mix, but I like Cleveland uh, defensively this year. Uh, here's why. They've got these beefy guys here. You're going to notice you're going to be able to stop the run with this team. First of all, Danny Shelton is a monster. You also have Randy Starks. Uh, you have John Hughes III. Desmond Bryant. All these guys are really good. They all have really good block shed. They all have really good hit power. Next, Bacavius Mingo. 85 speed. This guy is a monster. Um, and I like to put him at defensive end. I think he does a really good job in the pass rushing game. 
uh, with the finesse moves. You also have Paul Kruger at 91 uh, finesse moves. He's really solid pass rusher, so I put those guys at defensive end, and then I put two beefy guys at defensive tackle, and they work really well. This is actually the team we break down in our defensive guide. If you want to check that out, uh, the link will be in the description. Uh, the New England Patriots defensive guide. Then you have Carlos Dansby, and um, and then the cool part is you have some Madden gems here. Christian Kirksey. Uh, this dude uh, is pretty good. He has solid speed. Um, the other thing is all these guys can hit 85 hit power, 82 hit power, 85 hit power. Solid, solid, solid. The other thing that they have is that they can all cover as you see here, 83 zone coverage, 81 zone coverage, 79 zone coverage. Really good. Mingo and Kruger on the line, so that doesn't matter. So we have these two guys that we start, and then we like to use our Kirksey with that 80 speed. Corners. Hello. Let's take a look at the corners. As you see, the corners for this team are really, really good. 89, 85, 85, 82. Everything that I preach, these guys can do. You want to put this guy if croup clue a loom loom or whatever his name is you don't want to put him in uh, but what you want to do is you want to put in kendall james this guy is a man gym you see that nice coverage and some decent speed um ike oh clue clue blah blah blue blue or whatever you say his name i don't start him um the other thing i want to show you is the hit power Let's see this Hit power, so you see that the not, not a ton of hit power, but you see where we have hit power, we have hit power. Dante Whitner, 88. Gibson, 83 speed, 80 or 89 overall. Zone coverage off the charts, 93 zone coverage. And then even Dante Whitner, the guy that we use or control um, if we want to, but this guy can still get the job done. Uh, you see 83 zone coverage, he's going to be a human hit stick out there. And so we have zone coverage everywhere, and we have hit power. Uh, it, Donnie Wintner and then our user players are only weakness, and we're able to make up for that because we're usering him, and he's got 86 speed. Um, so he's a solid with that 89 acceleration. Acceleration, in my opinion, more important than speed. So that's why Christian Kirksky is our user player and a really solid team here for the Browns. Um, next up, second on our list, um, I'm going with the New York football Jets, actually. Uh, I like the Jets this year. Uh, I, their defensive line is, in my opinion, the best in the game. Uh, here's why. Richardson, Wilkerson, Harrison, but they all have block shed. Um, they just got to get off the block. I mean, that's just, let's just be on. I mean, let's just be real. They're getting off the block. 97 block shed. Leonard Williams is a sleeper in this game. 90 block shed. Wilkerson, 97 block shed. Richardson, 90. And so what I like to do with this team is I like to put uh, Williams in that second slot. Um, that second slot for defensive tackle. And, and then I'll take uh, Richardson on the outside with Wilkerson, and that will be my team. Um, sometimes I throw Richardson at that second slot because I want Williams on the field more than Richardson so because he has better stats. Um, but anyway, we go Richardson here. Their linebackers are solid as ever. Um, Calvin Pace, you don't want to start him. What you want to do is you want to take Davis, put him at the middle linebacker, then take Harris, put him at the left outside linebacker. You'll see Harris is solid as he always is from year to year. One of the better linebackers. More consistent 88 hit power. Hello, Get him on the field. Um, Davis, 87 hit power. Hello, get him on the field. And then Quinton Copples, 91 hit power. Get him on the field. These guys can hit. These guys can tackle. These guys are the most, in my opinion, the most complete defense. I think they're better than Seattle, but you have to give respect to Seattle because of some of the things you can do with their speed. But Quinton Copples, here it is. Like I said, Money, 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 money. Put him on the field. 78 speed. Why do you think it may not be that great? This man has the acceleration. He has the hip power. This guy, Trevor Riley, is a little mad in gym as well. If you want to run a 3-4, user control him. Hip power, not too well, but he's fast and he can pass rush. Um... But anyways, guys, you see Williams, 81 hit power. Richardson, 87 hit power. Um, these guys can hit, and that's just the bottom line. This guy, Lorenzo Wilden, uh, 6'4". He can hit, he can pass rush, and I believe he is pretty quick um, off the ball with that 85 acceleration. So a decent man in gym as well. You can check him out. Corners, get on their level. Two of the best corners in the game, Darrell Rivas, Antonio 
Cromartie, what you're going to see in these guys is, first of all, you're going to get picks. 72 catching, 79 catching, money. Next thing you're going to get is you've got solid tackling, 63 from Revis. Uh, and then also size, 62 from Cromartie, tallest corner, one of the taller corners in the game. Man coverage, hello, play man coverage with this team. 99 man coverage from Darrell Revis, and then zone. 94, 82, 85 zone coverage from Mr. Skyreen. D. Milliner, hello, get him on the field. This man is a Madden Jim, 82 zone coverage. And then what I like to do is I like to put Marcus Williams in here for Duran Walls. Um, but let's just go through this real quick with you guys because these are our number two team. Man, we're already at 10 minutes. How do these videos go long? so freaking long? Um, but we got McDougal. If you want to play more of a, a quarter man, Sitch, you can throw him in there. Um, you know, he's solid as well. Uh, but anyway, I, you know, I'll, I'll throw McDougal in there uh, instead uh, just because more speed, better man coverage uh, for those situations. Free safety. Um, real quick, let me take a look at the hit power and let me just show you guys. These guys are just, I mean, these dudes can just play. Uh, Jaquan Jarrett, 87 hit power. Calvin Pryor, 95 hit power. Hello! Get him on the field. You don't need to use your linebackers with this team. What you need to be doing is using Mr. Calvin Pryor. This dude can play. Uh, what I want to do here is, uh, what, I, what I do with this team is I put Jaquan Jarrett in here at the free safety and I'm going to user control him. And then I've got Calvin Pryor on the outside. Um, the other thing that I want to show you real quick is uh, I want to show you their catch. You see Calvin Pryor, 65 catch. Jaquan Jarrett, 74 catching. This team gets turnovers. This team makes plays. In my opinion, I personally think this team is the best. But they are not the highest rated. They're not the best you can do with blitzing. But they play. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you they play. They play so well for me. Miles can back it up. They've got depth. They've got talent. Don't sleep on the New York Jets. In my opinion, the best defense in this game. But they come in number two on our list. Number one on our list, as you guys probably already considered, Seattle. They're just quick. They're just quick and they're fast and you, it's hard to play against Seattle. Here's why. Defensive line, you've got Meebane. You've got Ruben now. Ruben. And then you've also got Mr. Jesse Williams, a sleeper. This man is better than Meebane and Ruben, in my opinion, at stopping the run. Here's why. 86 block shed better. 94 strength better than Meebane and Ruben. Uh, he doesn't have the power moves that, that Meebane has. He has hip power. I would recommend getting him on the field. He's definitely going to be on the field in four down lineman sets for me. He can stop the run. The next thing that you have is Mr. Michael Bennett coming in with 91 strength. And let's take a look at his pass rushing moves. 94 power moves. This man needs to be on the field uh, at all times. And then this guy, Frank Clark, hello. You need to get him on the field too with this 84 power move. Um, and the block shed. The other thing about the block shed, Bennett has 87. Uh, so you need to be playing Bennett. need to get him on the field. I also would recommend getting David King and Frank Clark on the field. Those guys are little Madden gyms. They're working their project to players. Cliff Averill. Speed, acceleration, he's good for blitzing, um, 90 acceleration. Frank Clark, hello, get him on the field, 84 speed, 90 acceleration, really, really good player, get him on the field, he's 6'3". Left outside linebacker Bruce Irvin, hello, 87 speed, 90 acceleration, get this man on the field, he's continuing to grow, continuing to get better, 91 power moves at this point, solid, 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 solid. Bruce Wagner, or Bobby Wagner, I call him Bruce Wagner just for fun, 88 speed, you see 89 acceleration, in my opinion, one of the better user players in this game, zone coverage off the charts, get him on the field, Nick Moody, solid, but eh, uh, oh, and then I want to take a look real quick at the hit power, 95 hit power for Mr. Bobby Wagner, 87 for KJ Wright, 85 for Bruce Irvin, these guys are all good, get him on the field, at any uh, opportunity and KJ Wright 79 speed 69 strength not very good there but he has the hip power and he also has his own coverage at 82 their corners they have improved at corner I know that's a controversial statement but I believe they've improved at corner they have Richard Sermon let's take a look at their zone coverage and man coverage statistics and what you're gonna see here is you have Great zone coverage, 99 from Sherman, 86 from Kerry Williams, Jeremy Lane, 83 and 85, a really good guy. This guy, Marcus Burley, the rookie, or not the rookie, but the little, I don't know, they picked him up in free agency, I don't know where he's from, but dude can cover, uh, pretty solid, he played well in the Sunday night game uh, against the Packers. Um, so some really decent players here. Um, the other thing I want to show you is the hit power. Look at Mr... Simon, 80 hit power. That's a unique for a corner. Get him on the field. Jeremy Lane starts over Kerry Williams. 
that's a big deal, but I believe he should. Why? Because Jeremy Lane has better hit power, he has better zone coverage, and man coverage. Um, he doesn't have better tackling, uh, but he has better man coverage, better zone coverage, and then catching. Catching. Better catch. You see, that's why. Uh, but Sherman's going to make plays out there with Lane. Thomas, I mean, dude's the best free safety in the game. Best free safety in the game. 90 speed. Uh, makes plays. This dude, he doesn't have great hit power. That's why I would recommend user controlling Earl Thomas. Um, because, you know, computer hit sticks are easier to get than uh, player hit sticks. And then, of course, Cam Bam. Cam Bam, wham, bam. Get him on the field. Man has 95, 95 hit, or 97 hit power. Um, zone coverage is still solid. Uh, the other thing, ch -ch -ch -ch, Mr. Dion Bailey, hello, get him on the field as well. Um, but those are the uh, breakdowns. So that's our top five defensive teams. Uh, not quite as long as the offensive video, but still rather long. If you guys want to check out more about the defensive side of the ball, be sure to check the link in the description. You're going to find my Madden 16 defensive guide. In my opinion, it's the best defense in the game. It comes from the New England Patriots defensive playbook. You can check that out. Very inexpensive, very uh, cheap option for you. If you're looking for an ebook in Madden 16, you can check that out. But these are my top five defenses in Madden NFL 16. And real quick, I want to close out with a sleeper team that you may not have thought about, but they are really, really good. And that is the Dallas Cowboys. Hello, Mr. Dallas Cowboy fan. Yes, I believe the Dallas Cowboys are really good, and this is why it comes from this stance. Cornerbacks are not important in Madden. I believe that is a correct statement. I believe that cornerbacks are not as important this season as they were in past seasons, and because of that, I believe Dallas is a really, really good option. And here is why. They've got Madden gems off the freaking wazoo. Look at this team for a moment with me. Okay, let's take a look at the defensive line. We're trying. Let's take a look at the strength. You got McLean, 92 strength. Take a look at Coleman, 91 strength. This guy's a new guy. Uh, and then you have uh, Mr. Bishop at 89. And then some of the other guys that you would want to use in this situation is Jeremy Mincy and uh, potentially Tyron Crawford. Now, let's take a look at that. First of all, notice that they're all athletic. Look at the speed of these guys. 75 for McLean, 77 for Mincy, 78 for Crawford, 76 for... Fast. They're fast, okay? Bottom line, they're fast. Okay? Quick defensive lineman. Acceleration. Hello. You need A-gap blitzes? Dallas is your team. 83, 83, 83, 83, 82, 78, 79. All in that category. Really, really solid. Now, let's get into the really stats that matter for defensive tackles. That is block shed and power moves. Here, they're serviceable. This is their one weakness, in my opinion. 83 block shed from McLean. Solid. Okay, solid block shed. Bishop. Oh, and also 81 power move. Coleman's not going to get the job done. Bishop has 84 block shed. No, no pass rushing ability. Crawford, 82 block shed, 89 power move. This dude's like freaking Warren Sapp. I mean, this dude is good. Get him in the game. Mincy, I don't really like his block shed, honestly. 78. Doesn't really do much for me, so I'm going to put Crawford here. And then I've got Bishop. If they really run the ball against me, I can put Bishop in. But I think Crawford will still get the job done with that block shed. And he's got 78 speed. I mean, good lord. Uh, and then what you have now, now it gives us, frees us up opportunities. Let's go look at the middle linebacker. Let's go look at the linebackers real quick. Let's take a look at hit power. Dallas is hit power. 87, 87, 87, 83, 83. Good enough. In my opinion, like 85 and up is what you need. Um, so they're good enough there. What I like to do is, to, is take Mr. Sean Lee, and he, well, we'll just leave him there. I don't like to use our McLean. Okay, so I like to put McLean here at the left linebacker, and then this frees me up to get a nice user player in here. So I want to see. I like this guy, Andrew Gakar, because he's because he's tall. Um, but another guy you can use. And actually, let's just leave. The, no, I'm sorry. Let's let's do it like this. We want McLean there. The reason we want McLean there is because we're not going to use her any linebacker. So we got Lee, McLean, and then the, then this left linebacker Hitchens. Um, what we want to note about him, we want a pass rusher here. Uh, his pass rushing skills are not very good, uh, but he's got 87 hit power. So we have 87, 87, and 83. Um, but what also we can do is take. Uh, where is he? Zone coverage. DeMarcus Lawrence. 67 zone coverage better than Hitchens. Now look at his power look at his pass rushing skills. 
85 power move. Get him in the game. So he's going to go here. Now you're right in. Greg Hardy. Get him on the field. Look at this man's acceleration. 83, uh, 76 speed, 83 acceleration. But what's most important is his pass rushing skills. 94 power moves. So pretty good. And then take my man, Randy Gregory. 84 speed, 78 acceleration, or 78 strength, 88 acceleration. Can we get some A-gap blitzes with Mr. Gregory? That is correct, we can. And also 88 finesse moves. Not great block shed, but if he's coming three, you don't need a block shed. Um, so there's that. Now, corners. Now, this is everybody's staple. Cowboys have no corners, no corners. Well, Scandrick isn't hurting Madden, so we can use him, first of all. So let's take a look at him. All right, so zone coverage, in my opinion, is most important. 87 and 80. That's going to get the job done. Now, most city is going to be a good man corner. Um... I don't really start Carr. Uh, I'll be honest. The guy I start is Mr. Byron Jones. I think he's better than Brandon Carr. Uh, and here's why. He's got more speed. He's got more strength. Byron Jones is an athlete. I mean, this dude is an athlete. Get him on the field, man. I'm telling you. This dude can catch 62-63, which isn't that bad. Ain't that great, but ain't that bad either. And then Mr. Tyler Patman. This dude's coming along. 75 catching. Get him on the field as well. And what you're going to notice is he's got good man coverage. He's my nickel corner. And then uh, Carr's kind of my fifth guy, Claiborne, at that spot. So there's that. The next thing is your safeties. And this is important because you need to have safeties. Well, we look for zone coverage, and you see that they don't have very great zone coverage, unfortunately. Okay, so now we look at hit power. Mr. Church has 92 hit power. Mr. Wilcox has 88 hit power. So they are a very underrated team defensively, in my opinion. Their safeties can get the job done. I like to user control Barry Church and let Wilcox do his thing. 78 will get the job done for me. But uh, if you if you want to, you can also put Jones there and then start Carr for better coverage. But that's how I do Dallas. Anyways, guys, I know I went a little longer. I wanted to talk about some sleeper teams. I really like talking about this stuff. So, um, But anyways, guys, you can check out our defensive e-guide. We've got all the breakdowns there. I don't think Dallas is the best team defensively. I think they are a sleeper team that nobody talks about. I think that Seattle is obviously the best team, but I think New York comes in a close second place. So that's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys next time. Be sure to check out that defensive e-book below. Very inexpensive. Very, 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 very.